Okay, today I just want to talk to you about a user authentication section on your website. Um, before I do that, I want to tell you about um, a kind of a blog survey that I'm doing. You might be interested in it. It's a little fun. Um, if you go to kpdreamweaver.blogspot.com and then come on over and just click on the old-fashioned customer service, I'm going to write a few blogs about customer service in this day. Um, wrote about one of my experiences and thought it would be fun to hear about others' experiences. So if you go to this blog and go ahead and post a comment at the bottom, I just want to hear about your customer service experiences, whether they were fun, um, whether they were bad, or whether they were just funny or excellent. Any customer service story that you have, um, I'd love to hear about it. Okay. The first part in creating a user authentication is to plan it first. So some questions you might want to ask yourself are, will it be paid or free? Are you just going to have a section on your website and you just want to track who's using it so it's just a free have them sign up and get a password? Or do you want them to pay? And then if they are paying, will it be a monthly fee or a one-time fee? Um, will it be automated, meaning will they be able to automatically create their password and use it immediately, or will you have to review some sort of application, then supply a password? And how will you keep the information secure? So ask yourself these questions before you start building your website. One thing for sure that you'll have to have is a database. I use MySQL. Um, there's other databases available. And so in my database, I generally have um, an ID or a primary key, a username, an email, a password field, and a password confirm field, because you do have some code that you can put in to make sure those two match up when somebody's creating a password, and then a field for an answer to a security question. Then what you can do if you're using Dreamweaver, and my tutorials are guided toward Dreamweaver, is you'll use um, the authentication tools set up in Dreamweaver to set up your form or there's some other tools you can use um, if you're having them pay for a subscription with PayPal for instance and at the end of this tutorial I'm going to give you some resources. Now this tutorial is simply meant to help you in planning. It's not meant to give you any in-depth um, steps because there is quite a few steps to setting this up but it's just going to help you on the planning side and then give you some resources that can lead you into the right direction. And then you want to provide a way for your visitor to reset a lost password. Using Dreamweaver, you can provide an update form, which will allow them to update their password. Say um, you could have them enter their email and their security question answer, and if those match, it could take them to this form where they can reset their password. Or you can use an email system that will have them answer the same questions and then they'll receive an email which will give them a link to reset their password. Either one of these two systems, you need to decide which way you want to do that. And then with security, you want to make sure that you are providing security for your visitors. If they are putting any type of personal information onto your website and then if it is going to be displayed later on the website. Um, one way to do that is to add a security certificate to your domain and to your hosting account. Um, if you go, I'll just show you one option. Um, uh, let's just go to, we're on the K Perspectives website right now. And under web hosting, you'll see that there, oh, excuse me, under security certificates, you'll see that there is an option for see all certificates. And then this just talks to you about the SSL certificates and the encryption that it provides. What people are going to be looking for in your URL if you're collecting their information is an HTTPS, or they're going to be looking for some sort of padlock or something up in the URL. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind when you are building any type of um, form on your website that's collecting personal information or displaying it. Now let's just look at some resources. You can check out all the resources that I use to accomplish these tasks on my website at kperspectives.com. Under the Dreamweaver tab, there's an extension and resources link. And then I'm providing you with a lot of these tools here that I have used. Two of them in particular that I've used is this link lock. There's um, a system in here 
where you can have people make a one-time payment, store their information in a database, and then you can lead them to set up a password after they've paid. Um, the membership software is great software if you're going to have a reoccurring fee with PayPal. Um, it works right with your database to have someone set up a username and password. Um, it's, both of these are really great tools that I have used and like them both. Um, some other resources are this book right here, The Essential Guide to Dreamweaver CS3 with CSS, Ajax, and PHP by David Powers. Um, I have read that book extensively and it has worked great for me. It has a lot of great tips and tools and step-by-step -step instructions in it. And lastly, you can sign up for a topic course um, subscription, which is only $40 a year. Um, to view the tutorials that I put put out. Now a tutorial for user authentication will be put out sometime in January step by step. Um, I'll go through how to do a free one and then I'll probably go through using two of the resources that I have just shown you. Um, but to sign up for topic course again we can just go to my website and if you click on the topic course link right here from the home page it'll give you the instructions um, all about topic course and how to get signed up for that um, and also within your topic course subscription you are able to submit um, questions specific questions for your needs and then I personally answer those questions to the best of my ability um, and so that's pretty much it for planning a user authentication go ahead and take part in my customer service survey on my blog um, it should be a lot of fun to read people's stories. And um, again, I thank you for watching uh, this Keen Perspectives tutorial. Thanks.